Now the question is, are we going to drop frames? We've been lucky the past few. No, we're good. We're fine. Hello. Hello. Back to Breath of the Wild for you know, been like a doing, month or two. We've been doing other doing, stuff. We're doing the water dungeon, and I think this is the final dungeon. Are we doing the what? We're doing the Goron one, aren't we? Oh, oh yeah, we are. We have we, we have two left to do. Oh, didn't we do? We did the elephant last time, didn't we? Uh, was that the? Yeah, yeah, we did the elephant. Have so we done we gotta... three of them? Yeah, we've done three of them. So we have the Goron one left, and then we have Ganon left. Yep. Which we we, we went and we scoped his place out. Mm hmm. Did a bit of scouting. Is this it? I, I guess. Oh, well, we got here last time, but we didn't start the. Yep. And now we are. We're in the middle of a volcano. Error. It's it's Error? a salamander. Oh. Uh, I guess I'll go inside. Yeah. What's your weapon stat? Oh, dark. I thought. What? So well, I, th I thought if I press select, I got like a metal, a like a Metal Gear three D model. Why is that not happening? We haven't we haven't unlocked the map yet. Oh, okay. I also have not played this since the last time we streamed, so uh Well you could got a mighty might... Lionel sword. It's badly damaged though. Uh see now comes the part where I have to remember buttons. I figured that'd be the case. Oh it broke. Yeah. Why the fuck is the fire dungeon so dark? Dragon Bone Boko Club. I can use this. I was gonna throw the club, but I pressed the wrong button. He shot it in the eye. Remember, if you throw something, it'll be damaged. I know. I was gonna do it for the content. Do it for the content. I got a torch. Uh. You're gonna need it. It's dark. Hello? Oh, that's right, I gotta light it. This game is realistic. But, but why it but why it dark though? Is is that really the gimmick of the final dungeon? Dark? Dark. This is like 2018. Have video games not learned not to do dark shit yet by now? Or, you know, have dark shit be done in like a manageable way. This does this seems very uh ha this is hostile environment. The worst oh, wait! uh I see it. Go back. You light the you light the torch. The worst dark thing that I ever saw done in a game was Dragon Quest One, because in that game, darkness you just had your own your own tile was all you could see. You didn't have like a little bubble or nothing. I get up to set it on fire. I get. I don't want to like ruin my torch. I know. I'll give him no, the club. Oh, you know, get, that's get, all he took. Just one hit. Yeah. You get the club. Screw you. <laughs> can I like my club? Yeah, I can. That's I, it's multi-purpose. That's, that's one of my top uh, ten, like, uh, like, uh, like Arnold Schwarzenegger kills. Was, uh, -oh. uh, was that. Uh-oh. Get out of here. Uh, that was a that was a total recall. Yeah. Um, that was when like a guy was like coming after him with a giant drill machine, and then uh, and and he's like, "I'm gonna drill you up, sucker! I'm gonna grind you up!" And then and then uh, Arnold grabbed like a drill. And he's like, "Here you go!" He goes to the side, he starts drilling in there, right? And then he's like, the other guy, the the thing's like, "Oh no!" And then he goes, "Screw you!" And it goes in, and he's just in the death, and he kills him. Do you think that's Kamino's favorite movie scene? Uh, Do you think Schwarzenegger movies still exist in that dystopian future? Uh, did, did, I don't think they have the technology for VCRs. Maybe, though. They don't have the technology for VCRs, but they can throw fucking galaxies like throwing stars. Well, that's lost, te that's lost technology. That's newly developed technology. This this dungeon sucks so far. Yeah, this is not a good. I hope, uh... I hope it gets better. So, uh, 
been a while since we did a Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild stream, and these being the streams where I talk about my progress on Naruto Shippuden, I've made a lot of <laughs> progress on Naruto Shippuden. I bet you did. That the series is 500 fucking shit. episodes, and like 200 of those are the war. Like, there's a big war in the series, and it it puts Namek to shame. <laughs> it's so fucking long. Uh, didn't did the guy uh, Kishimoto? Who, no, 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 no. The it's like a guy. There was a guy in the the guy who st I guess started the war. Yeah. Doesn't he drop like a fucking meteor? He okay, hasn't cool. yet. Does this turn on the lights in the fucking? Okay, we got a map. Turn on the lights. Gorons. Oh, I guess they have it be this way because Gorons don't need the light to see. Do they have night vision? Do I? Is this new Goron lore? Do Gorons have night vision? Oh, you, all you can do is tilt the, the divine beast ninety degrees in certain places. Is it another tilting thing? Yeah, that's all it is. is They're all tilting. Thanks, Daruk. The terminals that control Rudania. Wow, nice job. On your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. He, he you like got... over pronounces a little bit. Yes! Finally. Aziz, light! God. Yeah, we just need to, we just need to activate the sunroof. Of the goddamn building. We believe in natural lighting. Except for the torches, I guess. I have been keeping notes the whole time, though, so I, I, I guess I'll just I'll sprinkle in the little notes that I have been keeping as I travel yeah. through. Shippuden? Yeah. Uh, do I have the... This looks metal. Why would I be able to... Okay, no, it's not metal. It's just smooth, really smooth stone. Okay, that's leading to the exit. Oh, I you're- I we got a tilt. Oh, your club is on fire! Oh, because I went outside. Whoops. It's yeah. okay, I shook it off. Shake it off. So, uh, okay. Tilt it that way 90 degrees. It's, so just, you can it's only... always tilting. So this is 90 degree tilting, which I don't remember. Yep. Didn't Sorry. we have like 360 degrees on a previous dungeon? I think so. I think we re you rotated things like, uh, like fucking, uh, like cylinders. This seems really simple. This does kind of feel like a, like we ran out of ideas, so here's a repeat. I saw a ramp that it looked like I could go up. Remember when we thought that like that like water control was gonna be a part of that one dungeon? That one divine beast, rather. How do I I'm stuck in first person, there we go. It's fine, you're figuring it out. Can you move that? That seems metal up there. Yeah, up there. That seems like it's metal. You can move it. So tell me more about Shippuden. Uh, well, Naruto's a terrible fucking ninja, first of all. That's, I, we kind of knew that. That's known, though! Yeah. But it's just something that is, like, increasingly made obvious throughout the series. Like, everyone treats him like... Kind of like Goku. Like, he's just a loose cannon that they have to work around, because they know he's never going to follow any orders ever. You mean Luffy? Yeah. That, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of similar, lot of similar Shonen characters. Goku, Goku's the most reasonable of those, of the, of that archetype. Yeah. I suppose, less so in Super. He's gotten more, like, stupid in Super. Well, he's, he's gotten more laid back and carefree. I guess the, the, the years of, like, of, like, peace have made him, like, stir-crazy. 
Man, Shippuden oh, yeah, yeah. by itself is longer than the entire Dragon Ball franchise before Super. <laughs> Original Z and GT combined were not 500 episodes. But, uh, but it's an entertaining watch, isn't it? Eh. <laughs> Damn it! It had, it's had, it's, it's had some things that I liked that I was not the, expecting to like. The Akatsuki Hookah Lounge? There was the Akatsuki Hookah Lounge. And Naruto does, like, grow up over the course of the series, which I appreciate. He, he's become he, anime Jesus. That's his niche I, in the shonen, like, trifecta-verse. I forgive you. Which I appreciate the attempt. That's something I loved about Steven Universe, was that it Tell wasn't always about violence. And there was, like, an actual attempt to talk problems out. Naruto yeah. doesn't do it as well. He, he fails more of the time. Or I should say, Kishimoto doesn't do it as well. Okay. I get why Tak no Jutsu is a thing, because he does it a lot where he doesn't really deserve to have succeeded. Why don't you tilt when you're up on the top there? And I guess I back. could do that, yeah. Yeah, it seems like seems like that's a, that's like a thing you could do. There's a chest I could get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... The soundtrack in Shippuden is not as good as the original series, in my opinion. Uh, which was like the main one of the few things that I credited with Naruto always was it had a pretty good soundtrack for an anime and then it didn't uh yeah it's lost all the rock now it's just like this weird male choir all the time and Sasuke has a breaking bad theme what he has a bone yeah Sasuke's theme is like a breaking bad guitar <laughs> Dang, we need to cook. What does making meth have to do with getting revenge on your brother? Quiet, you. The filler has not been as bad as I expected it to be. Uh, they're, although the arcs do end kind of abruptly, like, they're just kind of, they're, they're going as long as possible, and then as soon as they're greenlit for canon again, they don't really do any closure. They just say, okay, arc's over, let's move on. That's like the reverse problem with, like, Bleach, where arcs just kind of started in the middle of shit. Filler arcs lasted forever in Bleach, and yes, they just yeah. kind of said, okay, let's pretend all this isn't happening for a second. That's literally, like, the, how the fucking Godfrey Ho Ninja arc happened. Where... <laughs> so you wanted me to tilt outside, was your plan, right? Yeah, I thought that would matter. I guess it didn't. Can we only tilt in two directions? Yeah, I can't tilt to yeah. the right. It's just okay. you're either it's either that way or the other way, which simplifies it, I think. I do appreciate that filler in Naruto is allowed to world build, maybe not to a Full Metal Alchemist degree. Maybe that was a, a <laughs> little a little more freedom than the manga author it intended. Oh. By the way, we're watching Brotherhood. We are. Your, your favorite version of uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I've tried three times to get through it, and I failed every time. I, I think maybe I could do it now that I have someone to watch it with. Yeah, and uh, and I think and the first and the first thing we uh, come up with was that uh, was that the stuff that happened in the original Full Metal Alchemist that, that was a novel somebody wrote about like what little they knew, and then and then Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is. Uh, is him, like, given, like, an accurate, like, bio biographical detail of what actually happened. What? Who the fuck is Dante? I didn't know a Dante. It's rick because the, the stuff that they already animated in the first anime, you can tell they're really rushing to get through in Brotherhood. Yeah, yeah, no, the pacing is really breakneck. To the point where, like... <laughs> you probably tilt here. I don't yeah. know if this is intended, but fuck it. I'm sure it is. Which probably means the pacing is gonna, like, slow way down once we get to the point that is, like, was not in the first series. Yeah, that's probably... He's probably just, like... Like, I imagine if, in my head, this is just, uh... Edward Elric retelling, like, his the story. He's like, yeah, yeah, we got through that. Yeah, that was accurate. This stuff wasn't accurate. And then they're like, and then they get to the point where he's like dealing with the stuff that we didn't see, like, 
in the manga, it's like, oh, this, all right, I'm gonna tell you what happened here. This is stuff, this the stuff I wanted to get to. The fuck. Well, yeah, because the stuff in, like, the original series was a lot slower paced, and uh, stuff was, it felt more dramatic as a result. So yeah, far, the music... like, the stuff that they're covering again is a lot faster oh paced and more good. Yeah, the difference between the uh, Nina, what ha what ha like, Shao Tucker shit. Uh, they spent ben. several episodes, like, living with Nina and really building up to the Shao Tucker shit in the original series. Yeah. Yeah. And meanwhile, Ed and Kan is like, what? I didn't live with her. We just kind of met. And while we I were, was there uh, for like we... a day. And what happened with her was was pretty fucked up. Shao Tucker's a monster. I, I and also the the fucking uh, the fucking exam. It wasn't this big thing. It just happened. So you didn't like fight with with Mustang in like a duel. No. We didn't. I will freeze the fire. Is that actually gonna work? Oh, that didn't work. No. Oh! The, 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 the stasis. Maybe. I think stasis would work. Uh... That lock. No? No. Um... Okay. Maybe I can get, like, a block? And put it there to stop the fire. Yeah, that's probably that's probably what you need to do. Or maybe, or maybe, it, just... maybe a rotate. Yeah, rotate it in here, and we'll see what happens. Okay, yeah. Do I need to rotate while my my thing is on fire? I do. <laughs> this is this is <laughs> this fucking. So you need his torch. Yeah. Um. No, yeah. put it. What do you mean, put it? You you did what you needed to. Oh wait, you're you're on. I'm on a delay. Sorry. Uh. Yeah. Uh, We're still pretty early in Brotherhood, though, so it's it's like. Something that I found funny was uh, was. Was fucking Roy Mustang just yelling at Edward while he looked like utterly fucking broken? He just looked. He, and he, that then, did happen. Yeah, it was after like he transmuted his mother, and he was just like, uh, he was just railing on him. And Reese is like, "Hey, is, was that really appropriate? That kid looked like broken." And he's like, "No, he had a fire in his eyes." Next thing you know, he just looked like he looked normal. And it it like, cut back to the <laughs> shot as if he did not look broken in the previous shot. No, he was determined. He wasn't traumatized. You may have saw I seen a broken little boy, but I've seen a boy with the will to live. There are four terminals <laughs> remaining. That's oh man, <laughs> that was funny as fuck. I'm sorry if y'all are here for Zelda and only Zelda. We we kind of tend to podcast a little bit through this game since there's not as much to talk about going on. Yeah, it's, it's not as active. Sly. Three is more difficult to do because there's a lot of like bullshit that goes on in that game. Uh, I was saying the, like the Naruto filler is allowed to world build, which I appreciate at least, yeah. and that, uh, like they'll they had an arc about the three tails which didn't appear in the story at all. Oh yeah. Um, the, the, all uh, the Akatsuki got him. What was the three tails? What uh, beast was that? It actually, did, it wasn't in a Jinjuriki. It was just like a giant turtle living in a lake. Oh! Yeah, they just they, fought the thing. They fought the thing and they captured it. So they want they want to uh, take all the the tail beasts, merge them together to create like like a weapon. I have Naruto spoilers, I guess. They want to make the ten tails. And then and then become god of this of the ninja world. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Have you bring that? No, it's too the the, the crate's too big for that entrance. to fit through the door. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, maybe it could. I think it's too big, actually. You could try it though. And also, uh, the, the filler episodes get to some of the they get to show off some of the non-main characters, which I'm glad because Canon sure doesn't. Yeah, I wouldn't know. What is? Oh, you watched the? I I, I was gonna say. You watched the, uh, 
I did watch might... the I did watch the Broske movie. Yes. Yeah, we call him Broske because he's like Sasuke, except he's he's. He's actually kind of. Actually... But it's not really. He's not really Broske though. He's just kind of a playboy. Yeah, he's not a bro. He's just. He's just. And it's also okay. So the the movie we're talking about is Road to Ninja, the 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 sixth yeah. movie, and it takes place in an alternate world where everyone is like the opposite of themselves, more or less. Yeah. Uh. And that's fine for a laugh briefly. It doesn't have a lot of staying power, honestly. Well, a good thing it was just a movie. Yeah. Uh, what was alternate universe uh, Naruto like? I mean, his parents were still alive, so... Uh, I, we didn't see a lot of him. He was technically Wait, in the him. movie, but we didn't really see him. Yeah, what, uh, what was the difference between him and Ganon and Naruto? I don't... Well, he had parents. Uh, the, That's the, it? The main interesting thing that the movie did was it swapped Nar uh, Naruto's and Sakura's, like, upbringings. So Sakura oh. was the orphan of war heroes, and Naruto had an upbringing, like, a normal upbringing with his parents. Was, was Sakura the tail beast uh, container in, in her universe? No, in which the, raises several universe? questions. Don't think about it. <laughs> don't. It's okay, don't think about it. But that was the most poignant thing the movie did. I, I did, like, appreciate that aspect of it. Everything else, eh. Yeah. So Sasuke appeared for, like, two scenes being a playboy. That was the extent of his role in the movie. That's wasted. I would have loved to see just, just like, an ultra-chill, ultra-confident Sasuke as opposed to the brooding, like, like revenge-driven mess that he was. Choji was a skinny, smart guy. Shikamaru was an idiot. Hinata was like a, like a, like a mean girl. <laughs> what about Eno? Uh, Eno was like very modest and traditional, like Japanese. Huh. Uh, and, uh, okay, then, um, who else was there? Uh, Kiba? Kiba liked cats. Was this clan still known for being dot, for being yes. like... <laughs> he and Akamaru hated each other. <laughs> it's there so many of the characters like that, you turn them opposite and they're just so dysfunctional in their roles, you wonder how this alternate village functions. Um It's probably it's probably like Ronma one half all over again. Yeah. Here's the best one. Tsunade was flat and Shizune had it was like busty. Cause that's their entire that, characters. That's it. That's all. That's all the director thought about with that. With that was like, what's uh, Tsunade's like uh, character trait? Tits. Not that she's like a medical ninja that she gambles a lot. Does she still gamble? Uh, and, she's and more straight laced in that version. Oh. I'm looking for a ball somewhere. Is she still a doctor or does she suck at that? Because everything's opposite. So what I'm, guessing this it, do? I'm guessing if uh, Hinata's a mean girl, that means that Neji is, like, more timid. I don't think he was even in the movie. Oh, Poor Neji. Neji! Uh, what the fuck damn is it. the point of that? Does this... This doesn't, like, raise the door, does it? No. It must do something. What should you do? Does anything, like, fall out of those doors if they're open? Did you go through those doors yet? I did. I don't remember oh. what was there. Hmm. Open it up, maybe. Yeah, open it up again, and we'll see. I mean, I mean, we don't have any other weeds besides that. There's the fire oh. stuff. Oh! Okay, set that on fire. Oh, excuse me. I, sorry about that. I... It's just 90 degrees rotation and burning. Yeah. And that drops uh, ch just a chest. Okay. Is it a magnetic chest? It is. Can I use okay. this anyway? Uh. There's an orb somewhere that you're going to have to slot in there. Oh. 
That's it. The other way? No. No, because it was at the other way. Yeah, it must do something. What do you do? Okay, so... Wait. Maybe you go in there. Like, where it opens. And it seems like there's a hole that is open when it's like that. Yeah? Is there a way for me to get in that, though? Uh... Go that, and then when you're up there, you climb up to the side. Oh, come on! Link! You can't stand on that little lip. Yeah? I mean, you're wearing, you're wearing a gigantic fireproof suit of armor. So like the only way you'd, you'd have to go up uh, through the other side. And then stand on there. On where? On like Here? This, either the side, the stairs, or like yeah, that side. And then I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but I don't have any other like. I'm all out of ideas. Well, we can't get through now. Yeah. Uh... I I love. I hope that's not just like a big red herring. It obviously has to be red herring. Red herring. And he comes. And he sends a note. He's like, no, I'm not fucking doing this bit anymore. doesn't appear to be anything behind that. Then, not... uh, what the fuck is this? Okay, whatever. Let's we'll come back. Keep, let's just, we'll, keep, we'll table this, and then... <laughs> Where the fuck did my magnetic thing go? I lost my chest. My chest, lad. Well, find, uh, find uh, other, like, leaves and shit that, that can be burned. Yeah. That seems like a recurring theme in this. Uh... So you knew about Hedon, the immortal guy? Yeah, I, I knew about him. He's he was kind of he's like he's, he seems like a, like a surfer dude. And uh, like, Kakzu, hey, who is yeah. also basically immortal. He's got like the masks thing going well, he's, on. He's got he's got lit. He's like he's got phylacteries for his lich body, whereas he Edon is basically just like just like literally immortal. Anyway, the point I was gonna make is that I love that Orochimaru's entire character is seeking immortality, and there's two dudes in the Akatsuki who are immortal. And he's still like, Sitachi, yes! Well, he has a method of immortality. He just body serves to new, to new like, bodies. But if, if that's he's his end gonna... goal, you'd think he'd be more interested in them. No? Maybe he's like, I'm not gonna fuck with the fucking Akatsuki. You kidding me? But he was in the Akatsuki, though. Yeah, and he left after he tried to, like, steal somebody's body. And right. he's like, I'm not... I'm saying, why did he go for Itachi? Why didn't he just say, hey, how are you guys immortal? Can you let it be a bro? Maybe maybe there is a closely guarded ninja secret. They don't want, like... I mean, you know those ninjas, you know, ninjas and their are... ninja secrets. I mean, yeah, the clan techniques, forbidden scrolls, that kind of shit. Like, it makes sense to me that, like, that, like they would basically say, fuck you, no, and then they're like... And he's like, okay... Well, I'm gonna steal Itachi's body then, and it didn't work out. And he's like, ah, god damn it! <laughs> Nothing ever works out for Orochimaru. It's okay though; he reforms. <laughs> he does reform. Like, uh, he basically killed. Like, he has a huge body rich. count. He's in the thousands. He invaded a village, killed a whole bunch of people, killed Naruto's grandfather figure, and. And after that, he just, he just was allowed, he just was allowed to, to like, to like, be like, cool with them. He, he attends Leaf Village weddings. <laughs> you see like, what I mean? Like, it, it kind of makes sense more <laughs> in Steven Universe, the contextual, like, forgiveness, but it's just, it's fucking stupid in Naruto a lot of the time. It feels, you know what, if it was more based off of ninja logic, like, Look, we were we were enemies today. Now we're allies today. It's like, whatever. It's the cost of being a fucking ninja mercenary. And, and you know, I got to the Itachi thing with the like the big twist reveal and everything, and it was yeah. like, I I finally got it. It was a good conclusion to Sasuke's arc, 
everything Good. seemed neatly wrapped up. Like, okay, everything's handled. He got his revenge. Now we can start, like, working together. The arc is concluded. Naruto, no, he's like, I'm gonna kill the Leaf Village, and then Itachi's slapping his forehead in the afterlife. Sasuke. It's, it's like Kishimoto just wants to keep making Sasuke more and more, like, psychotic and unforgivable to I don't, make a point, I guess? Which is weird because... Okay, it's a spoiler for shipping, and that's something else I knew about it, but it, it was it's weird considering how abrupt a, a certain like course character change is. Where Especially because it, it gets like frustrating to see Sakura still swooning over him after he's like tried to murder her three times. They have a fucking kid Later, it's it's <laughs> And you know what, too, uh, from what little I know of, like, that whole fucking sequel series, Boruto, like, Sasuke seems to be just, like, I was a massive right cunt back in those days. I was a dick. Yeah. Hey, we, you know, we could, we could like, you know, fix you up your arm. I don't, I don't deserve it. I'm, I was a fucking dick. They were just like, no, seriously, I get it. I mean... We fucking, we fucking allowed Orochimaru back into our ranks, and he did stuff way worse than you. I don't care, I was a dick. At least be there for your daughter. She deserves a better, like, father figure. You could be the father figure to her, Naruto. Okay, Sasuke, now you're being a dick. I know. Punished Sasuke. <laughs> but... I'm gonna make myself give me back my past. Oh, you can find that. Is there even any Turn point? Around. Turn around. You think I can climb this? 180 degrees. No. Another right more. Right a little bit more. Hold on. I'm, I'm dealing with Skull Man. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, there. Hey, you know what Shippuden did remember? Zabuza's sword. Riku gets it. Sasuke's hanging out with Riku for some reason. Wait, Riku from, uh, from Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, that guy. There's a guy who just looks exactly like him. Yeah. Yeah, he has like a fucking. He has. He has a. He has a crew, right? Yeah. It's, he has uh, a, He has Riku. He has like a big dude who's like the originator of the curse mark, and he has a uh, Kareen. Oh yeah, Kareen. Why does? Oh, that was a that was a fucking like arc like, it, it like uh, like uh, Serata thought the Sasuke's daughter thought that. Uh, that Kareen was actually her mom because she looks. She has she wears glasses like she does. Sound reasoning. And then, and then Kareen just was like, "No, I'm not your mom. I was the midwife for your for your mom's delivery." She does kind of look like the daughter of so of Sasuke and Kareen. Yeah. But, you know, it's weird, but. Oh, this, so this is the main thing. I gotta activate all the yeah. others first. Well, at least you found a way to get to the boss arena. There's one on the Stegosaurus spine I gotta get up to. Oh my gosh. I've noticed Sw that the closer Naruto gets to Jesus, the more the series kind of backpedals on letting women do stuff, which it was already not good at. Oh my... So, it's that, and then the Bleach isn't good about it either. One Piece is, out of the big three, One Piece is the best at it. And even it's not amazing at it. No. Okay, so it's gonna turn that way. So I should stand here. Like, isn't the main character from Fairy Tale like, like a like a woman? From Fairy Tale? They... No, it's yeah. the Salamander he... dude, isn't it? The fire oh. dude? Yeah, the guy who eats fire. There is, like, a female character, but... Or, I mean, yeah. that series always seemed really fan y to me. Yeah, it's just like, we know why you're here, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. You don't know why I'm here, old man! It's one of the reasons I love Lena Inverse so much. She's, what a yeah. great female character. Oh, yeah. You turn it, you're in perfect position to turn it around and access the terminal. Where's the terminal? It's on the, it's on the spines, yeah? Somewhere. Well, open the map again and find out! Open them. Thank you. Yeah, so... So you tilt... So you're there, so you tilt it, and you can just fucking walk on the spines until you get to the... 
to the to that point near the head. Is it like inside the? We don't know until we check. It's just inside that blob, I guess. Maybe. Gotta take it Ew, out. It's a mouth. Where's oh, your spin. eye? I see the mouth. Where's your eye? Oh, is it? It's up there. Wow, stupid skeleton. Oh, that was just one of them. Oh, Never mind. There you go. Like, they they hype up like Sasuke's getting the best of the best for his el tiny elite team. But even Karin is kind of just like, she's just you there for utility. Yeah. She, she's kind of a joke in combat compared to the other teammates. Wasn't it that, we, that a running gag was like, you know what, Sakura has like super strength. You know what would would have been great if she took Zabus's sword as like an upgrade for herself. Yeah, that was, that was what we wanted to happen. Because you know, ninjas ninjas loot shit, right? Like, like there should have been more looting from like the main character so they could increase their own strength. But, but they no, didn't like they didn't canonize her super strength until like way later in the series. It was just like a gag, which sucks. A gag like that in her inner personality. Which, like, faded as soon as she was able to do other stuff. Yeah. It's, it's one of those, like, things where, like, a series Ow. drifts. Ow. Oh, it goes. <laughs> oh there's my <laughs> chest. <laughs> that would have been great if the chest hit you. It's one of those things where, like, the guy had a, had a certain direction he went for the series, and then it kind of drifted as it went on. Not like it developed, it just drifted. And it's then, kind of baffling how it like it Kishimoto had this idea for the two characters, Naruto and Sasuke, and their story. And he just feels like he was really, really stuck on that, despite it making less and less sense over time. Yeah, it's like, you're my best friend! Are you sure? And also being like the least interesting part of the series. Yeah. I don't care about either of those characters, to be honest. They're they're the least like interesting parts of their own like series which is which Ichigo was like that too but at least like other they allowed other people to like have like long fight scenes oh yeah like Bleach and, isn't the pinnacle of using its side characters but it definitely does it better than Naruto does I think One Piece is the pinnacle oh yeah One Piece is yeah. One Piece never forgets characters either like characters come back who you haven't thought of in like two or three arcs yeah, so I not Kuro to come back and do something. Maybe he just maybe he just retired. And, like went home. If he fucking did a side story about like uh about Inaru on the moon, like like with moon robots helping him out. So I am right next to another one. He made it to Fairy Birth. So oh. one of them is in this room that we can't get access to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we need we need a ball. We need to get the balls in there so that we we get access to that room, which means that we probably just need to go to the to the one we don't we haven't found yet off to the side. To yeah, the, the one left shoulder. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I know where that is. That's basically Is that it right there? I think yeah, that's it. You can just drop down onto that. Yep. With your uh, glider. Karin was a fucking prison warden. How was she was. a pr how was she a prison warden of like Orochimaru's most dangerous dudes if she's like not a combat threat? Did she have any abilities? Uh, she had the ability to sense key Dragon Ball style. That was her major power. Okay, so she's a warden. She just tells the other people, like, how to get the fuck out. Or, or where to fucking go. I remembered how to glide too late. Just Going back. Falling, you go. And so you're falling, and you're like, oh, crunch. So she's. Her, her ability as a prison warden would be, would be to just basically say, like, sense where other people were in the prison if they were escaping, and then send people to go and beat them down and throw them back in their cell. But like she was there by herself. There wasn't any other staff that we we're made aware was of. Was she? Was she? Was she 
I, maybe she wasn't by herself for long. Maybe she heard that Orochimaru was like fucking dead and everybody else deserted. And she's like, well, if he happens to be alive, I'm not going to piss him off. I'm going to stay here. She could also heal people by letting them bite her. <laughs> that was a thing. That sounds like fuck learning medicine. Fuck. Just do that. Just one yeah. Just one I think I know why she was the midwife now. All right. Look, well, that didn't help here. us. We I didn't... don't have any medical skills. No, you're gonna be here in case Sakura is like start. The it goes wrong. She's gonna bite in your arm and just start sucking. And and. I'm like a reverse oh. vampire. <laughs> Isn't the reverse vampire? If the sun's not, if they're not in sunlight, they'll die. Sure. They can just be bathed in UV lights at all times. <laughs> God damn it! The sun's not out, Ash. I've noticed the Anbu have like wharf syndrome, really bad. <laughs> Like, they're supposed to be the best of the best, the Ultra Jonin, the, the secret Black Ops, and they only ever really exist to, like, die. Worf did a lot better when he was re when he was became a character in Deep Space Nine. Yeah? Yeah, from what I heard, he was just, he just, like, he, his introduction was him, like, beating some people up, and he's like, I am Worf. Fuck you. That's a TV Tropes page, the Worf thing, right? Yeah, the Worf effect. Because, uh... uh character previously known to be badass in order to power scale, you kind of, like, throw them in the line of fire, and then they get hurt. Because that's something TNG did a lot, is, like, this is the biggest, baddest dude on our crew. Dude on our crew. If we want to show how strong someone else is, we have him beat up. Yeah. But then it happens too much, and it just kind of makes the strong dude not look strong anymore. Yeah. You know who got warped a lot? Yamcha. Never mind. Yam I, yeah, I was gonna say Yamcha. I, I actually wanted to walk that back. He was never real. He, he was never really... really portrayed as like super strong or dangerous after his first appearance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ya uh, Yajirobe. No, he just he just kind of just stopped training. Random fuck mountain man. The best thing narratively you could say for Yamcha is that he was supposed to be like a cautionary tale. Like, if you don't take your training seriously, you'll be like Yamcha. But that doesn't really work because the strongest characters in Dragon Ball were strong because of their race. Yeah. It's just like... It's like they're Saiyans, and Saiyans are fucking freaks of nature. I'm trying to get onto the... I, I, I'm gonna look outside some more, because I didn't get a very good thorough looking out there. You know what Yamcha needed? He, because he couldn't, like, outfight people... And Krillin's a gimmick is that he's not the strongest, but still he'll fight like the cleverest. Well, that's what uh, they decided to make the gimmick in Super, and it, it lasted long sense. enough for him to throw a shoe at someone. I mean, it made sense. It was, is, I, 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 I will say this about Super: it has it has good ideas, but the execution makes it way more goofy than than like than I want it to be. I appreciate the intent. Much like yeah. I appreciate the intent behind Naruto being, like, a forgiving, like, I'm gonna bring peace to the world, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'm way more softer on Super than you are, though, so I'm not I'm not surprised. Uh, I can't get that out there, though. How did I get out? So there's two exits. I'm trying to find the one where, that had the thing that I could climb out. You were there. You, you're just, it was just tilted in a weird way. Yeah, you need to, you need to go up there. You need to tilt it back, and then you can climb. So, uh... Yeah? What were we saying? Uh... Yamcha... Yeah, I feel... I just feel really... I, I feel bad for how Yamcha got treated. They fucking made his, like, iconic, uh... Like, he got pwned out. Yeah, tilt it back. Ah. Uh. They made him into a joke. And, and like that uh, overall, because he got pumped out by a Cyberman. All right, what are you looking for? There's this skeleton dude. Just hiding behind the wall. Oh, that you were hearing the combat music. Oh, there's more of them. I'm hearing their gurgling skeleton noises. Let 
you mentioned that movie like being way too focused on Tsunade's breasts. That was the, that was the thing that like Jiraiya also said in a, in a scene that was supposed to be like really serious and dramatic. He said something like, "Oh, all your friends are dead, and they're right there in your tits." <laughs> Jiraiya is. I'm like, not joking. That's that was supposed to be a poignant line. I, I feel like there's a lot of stuff in Naruto that's trying to be high concept, but doesn't really translate Wait, in the dub. Hold on, you know you can just you can just have a torch out, it'll light on fire, and you can let light that thing on fire. Oh, you're right. I was thinking I had to go get fire somewhere. No, I know, right? No, I've noticed uh, yeah. a lot of things like that in the translation. That that was the most stupid. That was the stupidest one, but God, yeah, your friends are right there in your tits. Jiraiya, we're trying to be serious. Stop here with your fucking perv shit. Uh, okay. Torch. This, this, have to, I, this better not have to be blue fire. God damn it. It has, it to, has be to be blue fire. fire. Uh, Drill shaft. Yeah, you had, you had one. It, like, breaks rocks real good. What is this? Is this the other side? Is this another, like, metal thing? Oh, I don't know what that is. God, this... This is the same... This looks like the same kind of structure that that, uh, that metal box was, like, sliding into. You! Are you the one that's been spitting those things at me? Find the eye. I see the eye. Shoot the eye. I think. There it's there. It it's just blocked by... Oh, you got it. Trick shot. So that'll uh, tilt the. Uh. Uh, no, don't want to fall. So that's the final one. Got two. We got one more left. So we need to figure out where, where the ball is so we can put it there. We're already on the spines. Can we walk back here? This is the exit. Oh. So, uh, so it's that way. Just just go that way and see what happens. Walk on the tail, I guess. These dungeons are very freeform compared to other Zelda dungeons. Like, you're yeah. expected to walk in places that you wouldn't expect to be able to walk. That's not going to be anything useful. Screw you. Drill shaft. You want me to look it up? Uh, I'm not gonna give up yet. Okay, let me know. I could rotate this. Unless, does it just rotate the body, though, not the tail? I think it rotates everything. Give it a shot. Oh, exterior view! <gasps> Wait! Does that have, give, give you access to another place by standing over here? Don't see why it would. Because there's the same entrance hole on the left. I don't trust that jump. Yeah. Uh, it seems like this is this is a dead end then. You check out the entrance hole, but it doesn't look like it would go anywhere new. I don't know if I can even get in it. God. Uh, I could glide in, but... Yeah. I wonder how long until uh, until Thousand Year Blood War Part 3 is, is released. I'm, I'm really... I'm really jonesing for, uh, for some more, like, of that. Nothing. All right, uh, release date is it's supposed to be this year, right? Mm hmm. Released in spring, uh, being released in spring 2024. Oh dear. It's almost fucking summer. What? Is it out in Japan? It's not dubbed yet. It's updated. Uh, that was a. Well, it's still spring. We got like all of May left. The 
The conflict awaits us, awaits us in 2024. Watch part one and two on Hulu. So four months ago, we had a trailer for part three. Uh, awaits us in 2024. And that's it. Just, uh, just uh, December 16th. Uh, it's telling us, hey, it's coming out soon. Mm hmm. Oh, you found you found something. I found the ball. Oh, that's, oh you found it. How do we? Okay. What do we do with this? So this is going to unleash when we bring, presumably, blue fire up here. Yeah, so you're going to need to bring blue fire up there, um, somehow. Where, where are you coming from? Get out! Is there a thing I missed somewhere? Probably, but, but there's no time. We need to finish. Uh, I made fun of the start of Naruto a lot because, like, all of the fights relied on, Oh, I was actually a Shadow Clone. Ho-ho, oh, I was a Shadow Clone. Just over and over again until it ends. I, th I, I kind of I eased up on that over time because I thought, okay, that's just early Naruto. No, nah, it, it's back a lot in Shippuden. Especially with, like, Uchiha bullshit. God. Oh, that was actually Genjutsu. Aha, uh -huh, but I had to Genjutsu. <laughs> Just picturing one person to pull out a gun being like, is this a genjutsu? There were no guns in Naruto, were there? I don't remember anyone ever having any. There was at least one in, well, a couple in Bleach. There was the non-canon, like, Ron Tao with her Hado gun. <laughs> I, just, I got a shotgun, bitch! And then there was the fucking wolf gun. Yes, the Coyote Stark. So where am I going? I'm well, looking it, for a well, source of blue fire that I can then get out there with. Well, you know, like, like, uh, guns aren't, aren't gonna need power against, like, Yu-Gi-Oh bullshit. Guns usually aren't interesting in combat anime, which is why they don't come up very often. What if it's a gun blade? Chainsaw Man had a lot of cases where, like, it was perfectly valid to just shoot someone with a gun. Yeah. Oh, Chainsaw Man. By the way, uh... Ah uh, no, it's uh, we're, we're still it's still spoilers. I, I got spoiled. Um, somebody released a, like there's a, a person I'm subscribed to called the Vile Eye who does uh, analyzing evil. And, and what? And, who or what are they analyzing? Like one that hasn't uh, appeared yet? I uh, know well, a character uh, from uh, from Chainsaw Man. Was it one who's appeared yet? It's a character from Chainsaw Man. Okay. That's uh, that's all I'm willing to, to give. I, if I say if they appeared yet or haven't appeared yet, that'll be major spoilers. Okay. That, that, that's because, yeah. But needless to say, no, I, I don't. I really can't like. Okay, so this goes fall. directly up from the ramp. Yeah. So. So I can bring blue fire up here. Climbing is going to be difficult though because you can't really put it out. Can I climb without putting it out? I don't know, actually. Yeah. I think I see what they want. It's asking quite a lot, but I'll go for it. what I liked about, like, old-school uh, JRPGs. What? How utterly convoluted the plot. What, what's what's the run button? It is... Okay, so I can't run while I have a torch. No, you're gonna have to be very careful you're gonna put it out. I loved how convoluted, like, the plot seemed to me. To my, like, to my, like child brain. To what are we talking about? To old-school JRPGs. Yeah? Like, how uh, convoluted and, like, just how utterly, like, complicated things could get, and just how, like, expansive and, and epic, and, and, like, the world seemed. 
and how like you go to certain places and it's like you're not really supposed to be there and like something could happen i mean they do general they can get pretty convoluted yeah i like i like that uh oh, it's the okay, skull I see. fuckers I... here i oh, can't out, out your eye. well then just to just tilt it again and okay it, it's not gonna tilt the right way is it oh it is okay it is you <laughs> i understand you're really <laughs> well then why have i i've been climbing up all this time i don't know it was it was a key to like say hey you can climb up this way but no you can just uh, you can just do it like hard style the other way Uh, I got to the part where Sasuke's gang was fighting Killer B. I thought he oh, had, yeah. you, you described him, and I thought, like, him using eight blades, and I thought they were, like, attached to his body, like, X-23 or something. No, oh. he's just swinging and juggling them around all the time. Yeah! He's cool, isn't he? While rapping. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the best, man! Also, I like how like, partway through that fight, he was like, fuck this, I'm going home. He just left. <laughs> yeah. Just, just wait, just wait till he meets uh, Naruto. Oh, I've gotten, I've gotten to that part. Oh yeah. So I can't climb. I can climb a little bit. But how do I? Okay, I gotta go down this way. Here we go. I get the picture. Now. All right. Now the door is open. Finally. And the stupid ball will fall. Yeah. So just follow it. Follow. Okay, and then you tilt it again. Fucking skeletons. It's like marbles. Think. There it goes. Is it falling? Oh, I see it now. And then that's why you lift up the fucking metal far. Oh, Mystery solved! We are a bunch. I, I just, like, I didn't even figure it out. This just... fucking chest! <laughs> I thought you were here to help me! I guess hey. that's. May well, no. Boss I was gonna time. say maybe that's why it's magnetic, so that we can lift it and move it out of the way, but the problem wouldn't exist if it was just, like, stable. Main control unit. Let's see how much bullshit this boss is. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. You're gonna need to make your way over to that. Stay now, I know where that is. I've been there before. It's on the roof, which I'm now very acquainted with. The roof. Can't be on fire because it's fire. Around the same time as all those Jiraiya goings ons, the Naruto yeah. did something I've never seen an anime do before. Oh yeah? They added a middle theme song. Wait! So just... they had an opening theme song, and then another one smack in the middle of the episode, and then a closing theme song. Why? For a brief period. It didn't last, thank God. Why did they think that that would be a good idea? I, I, we don't need more <laughs> musical did, themes. Did they, I guess they thought it was for dramatic effect somehow. Was there like a, 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 a second set of credits or a second like opening thing? I don't even remember if there were credits over it. But what? Oh my god. Uh, that's. Yeah, that's that's not the best. All right, who's a? All right, the final fake Ganon. He swole. I see weak spot. Fire blight Ganon. Yep. 
watch yourself now. That ugly pain in the crack is I look forward to finding out what mechanic, what important mechanic I'm going to have forgotten about for this fight. Good luck, little guy. Go get him. Just shoot him in his fucking eye. Does seem kind of obvious, doesn't it? Get down here! Shoot him in the eye again. Just, well, it did damage, why not? Yeah, look down here again. Go for it. What do you mean, go for it? I, I'm getting him. What am I going for? <laughs> we're, we're winning, okay? He just showed his eye to me. He brought it within sword range. <laughs> this is the final boss? This is the guy that beat Daruk? Daruk, you kind of suck, buddy. Now's now it's my chance. The... My chance to do what? Hey, idiot, you gonna show... Push your eye in my face again? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's gonna change his strategy. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna close his eye, maybe? No, he's gonna... Do... What? Oh, he's... I'm on fire! Oh, oh he's got a shield now. That flaming no ball is shit. dangerous. Okay, what's gonna happen? What do we need to do? I stand the sun. Oh, yeah. Gonna, is he gonna like throw a spirit bomb at me? Yeah, kind of. Okay, try shooting at him next time he's like, just, just fire. Let's see what happens. Nope. No effect. Okay. Well, uh... that's a very long charge up time, which makes me think I'm supposed to do something while it's happening. Bomb. Throw a bomb in there, and then that'll stun him. Maybe. Yeah, try that. Where? There he is. Vacuum bomb. Oh, Hit right. It. I have to. I have to detonate yeah. it. Yeah, there you go. Now run over and grab him and hit and like hit him. Okay. Well, we know what to do. Okay. You. 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 Uh, you. I was gonna say hit him with the sword rather than trying to shoot him in the eye. Yeah. But... No, I did. I. I missed. Oh, now, now he's he's like chill again. Okay, you're gonna need another bow. Well, the fireball he, didn't work. I guess I'll stop doing that. Shit, he adapted. Alright, okay. Uh, Star Trek First Contact. Uh, there was a scene where they're like fighting through Borg because they they're like assimilating the Enterprise slowly but surely, and then uh, and then they're like he's like Worf and, and the crew are like fighting the the Borg, and then they start adapting to their weapons, and then. Worf goes, Captain, they've adapted! He's did then grabs the gun, he goes, he just starts, like, hacking them down like he's a fucking, uh, like, barbarian warlord. <laughs> oh, and the sparks come out of them and shit. It's great. I Hello? missed at point-blank range. Well, he missed at point-blank range, you're fine! That, that didn't even really do that much damage. I can fly now? It's giving me the opportunity to fly and pelt him with arrows. You don't need that. Just fucking sh keep shooting him. Yeah, this is working. I don't know why it's giving me so much stuff. Now is your chance. Now is your Maybe shoot him in the body as well. While, he, while he's, like, stunned. I guess I could. Damage is damage, man. Oh. Oh, he teleported. Straight closer to me, yeah. Get out of here! Go home! <laughs> Do I win? Do I... Do we get him? Oh, no, he's over there now. He seems pissed. Go for it! Yeah, you got him. Just pelted him with arrows until he died. Thunder Blight Ganon was so much harder than that. God, Thunder Blight Ganon is, is like literal bullshit. Uh, this cannon is not. This cannon will shoot it until it dies. 
Yeah, Cyber Demon strats. Hey, uh... You get got? Do you think we could just rush Ganon's castle and take him? Oh, I'm sure. Maybe he's, like, strong, but maybe we got <laughs> enough, like, weapons and shit that, that we can just fucking, like, like, take him out immediately. Why can't we re-enter the interior? Because it's going to be active. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. They, they have become giant robots. Hey, Daruk, I know you're piloting the salamander, but could I, like, jump in and spin around in its belly? It was fun. Great work, Give me a big old Goron hug. Please, give me a big old Goron hug. I owe you big for this. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing all I could to protect Hyrule. He's ca he kind of sounds like Murray being played God straight. Me resting with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is... Same voice actor, maybe? Now. ...back under our control. That means that our century-old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. I'm gonna take this down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. I want to give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! We get, uh, From this shield. moment forward, the power of protection from the depths of my soul, now lives inside you. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. The Rook says, always use protection. <laughs> I noticed this happening in Crash 4 as well. I don't know why. For some reason, on the Switch, the gameplay is synced up, but the cutscenes are like a fraction of a second ahead or behind? A little bit, yeah. So they have versions of this cutscene that vary depending on how many other lasers you have activated. Seems like it. They, uh... They seem to be just like, yeah, they, they prepared this out. Which they gave, gave that much uh, preparation for, uh... Well, that for, uh... We're set here. I don't know, the dungeons. That dungeon was kind of like... It just this... kind of seemed like the spinny dungeon with more limitations. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... Ganon won't know what hit him. The, uh... Also, why was it dark at first? Just because? Yeah, they wanted to have a dramatic reveal. Was this the first dungeon we were supposed to go to? I don't know. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the Great Calamity. 
I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Huh? Hey, look at that. Still going strong indeed. Ha! Hey, it's so cool! He's a... <laughs> Who's that guy? Man, it feels like I haven't seen him in months! And now who's this one? He's got a, he's, is he wearing a fucking apple on his head? will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks as long as you're holding ZL. Okay. Blink. Yeah, sure. Blink. Whatever you say. Thanks to you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us, and the spirits of the champions are free. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. Hi. It's hot I think out you here. came at a good time. Ever since that lizard monster lurking on Death Mountain was tamed, it's safe again. Means you can take it easy. Okay. Hello. Yep, I have appeased the robot. No, while I was up there, I could have sworn I saw Lord Daruk standing on top of Rudania. Was that his ghost? Huh? Yep, good for you. Kid from Monster House. Order from boss can't be refused. Okay. I, I guess we're going to see the- that's right. Oh yeah, we do, because they'll, they'll give us rewards and shit. Maybe this was- no, this couldn't have been the first one. If we're expected to get here with, like, lava gear, there's no way. But this is also the one that tells us, hey, you should go meet the chief after completing a dungeon. Which we didn't do for any of the others. Yeah, I think- I think we went through this, like, all out of order. <laughs> which... Can't believe you conquered Rudania. Color me impressed. Good grief, did you have to- yada yada does he? Now you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain. <laughs> yeah? Were you not? The divine beast Varudania has calmed down and returned to his peaceful ways. Alright. That's a common, like, running theme in Zelda games, is, like, guardian entities that have become, become corrupted and are now threats. Yeah, very Ghibli. The sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of it. All right, how much weaker is it than my current weapons? Hundred years ago, the Highland Champion had a legendary blade. Oh yeah, I got that. I haven't been using it. Thank God this isn't like Hyrule Warriors, and I don't have to like slay a million enemies to awaken the Master Sword. <laughs> All right, two-handed sword, 60 power. It's not bad. Yeah, it breaks boulders. It's probably sword. slow as shit, but I'm down with that. Yeah, you just you, that's your style. You just grab big, giant, like, smashy weapons. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of debating whether I want to stream Tears of the Kingdom. I haven't yeah. disliked this game. But no, you it, haven't. You've been willing to come back to it. You don't drop. You didn't drop it. It's it's, just... I, I also do kind of feel like streaming the game ruined it a little bit for me, though. Yeah. Because I've, I've kind of had to like choose when I play it and how I play it, and not really go through it at my own pace. And how about this? Uh, you get Tears of the Kingdom. You just play it at your own pace, and then uh, and then when we do stream it, I just play it. Yeah, 
possibility. One way or another. Yeah. Uh. Where the fuck are we going? We're going to Ganon, I guess, right? We're, we're going to the we're going to Castle Hyrule to uh to end uh the like threat. A high knocks there or something. Uh, I tried like prepare in some way. I don't know. How how, how do we prepare for fighting? I mean, we could do like you don't I have the DLC. I got the, you weapons. Can't, you, you can't do the sword trials. I think I'm all right. Yeah, just just use your sword. Let's just like, jump in. I got the master sword, bitch. Bitches love master swords. By the way, I uh, I binged uh, like uh, Hellraiser or not Hellraiser. I, I didn't even binge that. That's not worth binging. The first three movies are the best. But What'd I you binge? binged I binged uh, Helsing Abridged. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Apparently, they were doing that once a year until the final, where they just did it twice, and a lot of those jokes didn't age well. Some yeah. of them were, were, were funny, though. I'm assuming you thought, like, that came to mind because bitch, I eat people, right? Bitch, and bitches love cannons. Oh, okay. I That's another thing that I probably... I, I've started to watch. I didn't make it through. So I'll probably give that another shot with Darien, Helsing Abridged. Or not Helsing yeah. Abridged, uh, Helsing Ultimate. Which, I... much like Full Metal Alchemist, I don't really hold as highly as the first Helsing, despite going off script. Yeah, but you know what we get in, in Helsing Ultimate that we didn't get in the original? Nazis. Nazi vampires! Yeah, that was a thing. The, the, the thing about Helsing is that is that the whole the, the story and, like, it just feels like a fucking, like, like a 80s B-movie. Yeah, it does. Like like one of those grindhouse features that that which fucking, is a great like, thing for you, not review. not usually my <laughs> wheelhouse. Yeah, you're right. That's, it is a great thing for you. I watch it. I'm like, oh yeah, this is this is my jam. It's the kind of thing that Brad Jones would like review and be like, and be like, are we sure this was wasn't released in the '80s? Did you see that thing that I uh, I I linked you to the Wikipedia okay. series? Yeah, you, you said that. This is, this is kind of my shit. There's uh, like a manga or an anime about a Chinese military strategist who gets transported or reincarnated to like modern day and decides to use his strategy skills to create a, a turn a girl into an idol. Yeah, he met. Wait, Zhu Ge Liang? From the you, you know this guy. Yeah, he's he's like a he's like one of the like so. uh... So you know, you know, how much do you know about like Dynasty Warriors lore? Uh, not not much. Okay, so uh, so there's the three kingdoms: Wei, Wu, and Shu. And Shu was uh was Liu Bei's uh faction, and he's like the the standard like good guy faction. And uh, and the, the strategist who like really like uh. Yeah. You're wasting that. I know. The, the strategist that like uh. That like really uh, like brought them to like greatness was fucking uh, was fucking Zuge Liang. He was the one who who came up with the idea of like look at watch look at at uh, at uh, Cow Cow's like gigantic ass fleet in Battle of Red Cliffs and was like, you know what we should do? We should just set that entire fucking fleet on fire. Yeah, let's just let's just burn that shit down. And then and then like the wind wasn't blowing the right direction and he's like, you know what? Fuck this wind! I'm going to, I'm going to yell at the wind and it, until it blows in the right direction, and it did. Yeah. And then, and then he did that. He also convinced the, he also got a guy to convince like the like the like the the naval officers of of his fleet. Like you know what? The both your guys are getting seasick from these boats, right? You know what you should do? You should just chain your boats all together so that they're all stable. And so, and then the combination of all that, the fleet got set on fire, and and, and then that just ruined. It just yeah, the cow cow got away, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I know that battle, that battle of Wu Zhang Club Plains. He didn't die in combat. He he just died of illness. So he died of illness, and then and then they all they were like, oh, this fucking genius strategist is dead. And then they were, and then they were starting to charge at him, and like, at, at like the the line. And then somebody was like, "Wait a minute, what if he isn't dead?" And then they retreated. 
Because <laughs> they're like, oh, this seems like the kind of strategy that he would do. Just fucking, like, fake his own death. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I was like, I was like, okay, yeah, uh, Kong Ming. Because I, I know the name Zhuge Liang. I don't know the name uh, just Kong Ming. I forgot that that was his other name. I don't know why, like, sometimes he has one name or why he doesn't. On his deathbed, he wishes that his next life were a peaceful place free from bloodshed. And he goes to modern day Japan! That's so cool! <laughs> I will use. <laughs> this is the kind of. I don't know if this would be the kind of guy who would, like, get, like, idol culture. Maybe he would. I think my current sword is a little slow. You could use your, uh, you could use the Master Sword to, like... I could, but I'm saving it for Ganon. Okay, fine. Fair enough. I need to break its legs while it's down, that's all. You could throw a bomb in, in its, like, hole. I guess I could do that, yeah. Yeah, well, it's too late now. He's, he's, all, he's all, uh... <laughs> no, don't attack the gear! It's a threat! Just break his legs and then run off. There we go. I like how I ran from those stupid Yiga guys, but I'm, I'm taking down Guardians and Ganon. That'll probably be well, they're, easier. They're big and God slow and damn dumb it. and slow. Yiga! Well, they know. They know how many how much shit you got. You're a threat now. Yeah, drop your fucking rupees and bananas. Cook the bananas. Make yourself a nice banana stew. Oh, is it Kong Ming was his was his courtesy name? Okay. Style name is a name bestowed upon one at adulthood in addition to one given his name. Given name. We have to so, like, we have to like use the the spires to get there, don't we? I remember now. Yeah. So I guess it's like a fucking like a like a nickname. I guess. <sighs> Naruto does the chosen one trope. Uh, it came out of nowhere. I'm just I'm playing as Link right now, and that they, they do the the thing that like they, oh Link, you are the you are the chosen one. Yeah, Naruto's that. He's part of a frog prophecy or some shit. Frog. <laughs> Leave me alone. Don't you have better things to do? Hey Sue, why the fuck are you talking about this like ninja guy and his like fucking prophecy? It's an ancient prophecy, prophecy of my people. Ribbit. <laughs> They're definitely not as scary as they look. Just, like, you just go for the legs, and that's it. That's the fight. Go for the legs, and then cripple them, and then just whack them until they die. Yeah. Man, you can't, you can't like, flip them over and, like, throw the bomb in there. Is that, like, a way to deal with them? I think so. It looks like you can. I'm gonna try it. I don't know. I don't think I can now, but. Yeah. Oh, it's a cricket. I'm sorry, cricket. You blew up the cricket. You blew up the cricket. Oh, he's got multi shot. And now these guys are here. You know what? Fuck you! I wanted to get them hit by the thing. It didn't work. What is it about you? You can never tell me that I get into too many fights ever again. Yeah. Because because you're you're doing the exact same thing except you're fighting like bigger prey. You know the problem is it's just it's night. That's why we're having this problem with the skeletons. You're you're still fighting them. 
The skeletons are behind you! That's fine, they're not hurting anyone. Oh, it broke. There you go. Get out of here. You still have a castle to raid! I know. But he wants to play. Look at him. You fighting you fighting that, that uh, dumb death flight dude is has made you uh has made you like arrogant. He was the weakest of the of the four. Yeah, he really was though. Just getting my ancient screws. Man, I wish there was a fast way to get to the castle. I would, like, go and maybe, I don't know, get ancient gear or something, but... I mean, that helps against Guardians, not Ganon. Yeah, maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, okay, you're at the Spire. I don't know if the Chosen One thing has anything to do with it, but everyone also has, like, a really weird amount of faith in Naruto. <laughs> like, yeah, he's, he's a, done a couple of impressive things, but, like, he fought Gara. That, that was kind of cool, but they treat him like he's Goku, like he has the hottest track record ever. He can summon, like, 50 clones. It's like you're fighting 50 of them. Like, the old advisors of the village are like, no, he's, like, the target of the Akatsuki. We can't send him onto the battlefield. That would be stupid. And they're the bad guys for thinking that? <laughs> Whereas that's, like, a tactically... Tactically that's sound, like... yeah. Yeah, tactically sound. I guess I can only go up some pillars. Okay. That is annoying. You could, like... Dive in the water, you can just fly in the water and climb up the cliff. I guess I could, yeah. Yeah, do that. Can I climb all the way up there? I don't see why not. Yeah, it's 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 low over here. I can do that. Probably. Uh water's moving kinda fast. You're good. Just just climb. This is an infiltration mission now. Infiltration and assassination. We are going to kill that dude, the Ganon dude. We're gonna kill him and then and, and things will be better forever. Ooh. Maybe. Oh, well, you're in the ground. He's a stationary yeah? turret. Yeah, well you can't move. Eh. You can't move. I'm not here. <laughs> Man. I mean, someday, I, I kind of want to play, like, a full playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines and just as a Malkavian. Because there's more insane dialogue in that game besides a guy just going, I'm not here! When he's leaving. Why am I still wearing my stupid volcano gear? I'm gonna put on my stealth gear. You you know what else happens? What? And you know what else? So if you're playing a Malkavian dude, you can go and approach a stop sign, right? Yeah. And and the guy, the Malkavian, looks at the stop sign and goes, "No, you stop! No, you stop!" Okay. What what you is wait, this Malkavian? Wait, it, uh, give me context. A, so Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, bloodlines, you can choose between, like, one of, like, many different vampire clans, and they all have their different advantages and disadvantages. Um, like, uh, like, one, you, you get access to blood magic. One, you look like a monster, but you're better at stealth. That was the Nosferatu one. Um, Malkavian is one where, which allows you to have, like, great fucking insane insight. You, like, they say that a person who, like, talks as a Malkavian is like you got three people fucking targeting you yeah i don't really know what the, to do about now it now is not the time for combat now is the time for 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 all right you're running around in circles getting your getting shot at well like, i thought i could deal with him quickly okay where's their fucking got so much hp dude you have i'm i'm tired ow 
Urbosa's fury is ready. This is supposed to be a stealth mission, a sneaking mission. What part of be stealthy did you not get? Oh. Uh oh. Uh. Do I have any fire? I usually keep a, a flame rod on yeah. me. Are they gonna? Yeah, are, fire. are you just like trapped if you don't? I'm sure, you can escape. No, you can't escape because you're too. No. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Magnetism. Oh yeah. Just fucking lift it up. No. No. But it's clearly metal. It's rusted. It's not. It's not that magnetic kind of metal. There's a uh, like epic remix of Zelda's Lullaby going on. Can you like go? Oh, there you go. Thanks, Daruk. So Daruk's protection is like uh, free hits. Well, not free hits, but like. Uh, you That's get gonna a... explode. Yeah, I did. I forgot I had the the meteor mm -hmm. thing equipped. Is it? I guess not. No, I guess it wasn't. I, the red was just like... Yeah, it's not. Okay. Toasty iron shrimp. Oh. You should probably eat something, by the way. Your, your health is low. Oh, uh, what was I they're, saying before? They're useless. They're just they're extra health. What uh, was I, I saying? What, what were you saying? Uh, like we were talking about. What were we talking about? Anime. I guess. Fuck! I forget. You you really just jarred me up by just how like just hammy you were being. I like how stupidly like two thousands edgy Sasuke is. Oh. Uh... Like I thought, I thought he was edgy before. No, in Shippuden, he's like he's crying fucking tears of blood. What? Oh, because of his because of his ability. He's constantly I, I... talking about like hate and darkness, like he's a Kingdom Hearts character. <laughs> he's got a demon yeah. buddy named Susan. A demon body named Susan? A demon buddy. He's got like a demon oh. who hangs out with him. Oh god. Why do people hate this character? <laughs> it's fucking funny. Oh, I really wish I knew what we were talking about. I, I guess I, I guess I'm not going this way. Unless there's something it's, I can shoot. Remember your oh, map is. is active now. You gotta stop doing stupid shit so I can so I can stay on a combat tr like a. Thought track. See, I shoot, I ugh. Hey, we started oh, primal. About... Yeah, that's I like primal. Uh, it's it, like no dialogue. You're just like watching like uh, caveman and dinosaur do caveman and dinosaur things. It's uh, Gendy Tartakovsky's primal, same director as uh, Samurai Jack. Yeah. Get out of here. No. And Dexter's Laboratory, but basically, it's it's following. A, it's like as serious as Samurai Jack. I think he was involved five. in Dexter, but he wasn't the creator. Oh, he Oshi Dexter. I think he was uh, uh, Dexter. I know Powerpuff Girls was Craig McCracken. Uh, Dexter might have also been the Kraken. Hmm. But there's and a lot of crossover with that era of uh, Cartoon Network shows. They shared a lot of the same staff. He also did the symbiotic Titan, I think. Maybe. Yeah, and then and then that failed because nobody heard of symbiotic Titan. That doesn't seem like it would be a Tartakovsky show. Then again, Hotel Transylvania doesn't seem like it would be a Tartakovsky thing. I, uh, you mean I get Fuck to work you. with Adam Sandler? Fuck yeah. Get to. What a privilege. Uh. 
from what I gather from like people who work with Adam Sandler, he's like he's like pretty fun to be around. And basically, Adam Sandler admits that most of his movie products were just him and like his friends just going to a place to like have a vacation while they shot stuff. Which yeah, that, that's movie. my understanding. They they kind of just like make a movie every few years so that they can go on not making movies. Yeah, and then, and then and then well, he makes uh, he makes shit like Jack and Jill or That's My Boy, and then and, and then and then but he's just like, well, it's fine. I get to have a vacation. And then and then he did a thing where he's like, okay, if I better get an Oscar for fucking Uncut Gems, or I'll keep making my shitty movies. Here's one of my hot animation takes. Eight Crazy Nights is underrated. What's funny is that is that uh, I haven't watched uh, Eight Crazy Nights, but I have uh, listened to uh, We Hate Movies talk about it. They, yeah. uh, they're like talking about, man, this is all this old dude wants to be is like, he wants to win an award. Who, Whitey? Yeah. <laughs> Whitey's great. Name? Whitey's like the he, best character in that movie. Yeah, that's what that's what they agreed on that, and they also said that Adam Sandler was a fucking shit. Yeah, no, that that whole movie is just like Adam Sandler being an asshole to people who don't deserve it. But it's okay; yeah. he gets better at the end, I think. Also, it's it's but weird it, to see like a holiday movie about uh, about uh, Hanukkah. Hanukkah, and um... it's also beautifully animated. Like, what a shame for that studio because they wanted to be like that was their big break. They were going to become a big animation studio by working with Adam Sandler on a big feature movie. And then it was just a flop, and they never did anything again. Alright, what we got? Uh, is uh, filmography as a uh, okay, creator, director. He is a creator of Dexter's Laboratory. Uh, Tartakovsky? Yeah, listed as creator and director and writer, storyboard, artist, recording director, producer, yad character designer, yada, yada, yada. Uh, same for Powerpuff Girls, creator and director for season one through three, supervising producer, one through four, writer, recording director, storyboard artist. Was Sam he like, Jack. a co-director? Was he working with someone? Uh, unknown. I will, I will check it out in both cases. Also, it prevents me from, uh, created by Tartofsky, uh, Dexter's Laboratory. Just, yeah, that was his work. Hello, Keepy. Uh. Keppy? Keppia. Powerpuff Girls! Craig McCracken? Yeah. Okay, that's Powerpuff Girls. But... So, are you getting mixed information? This list... <laughs> this list says he's a creator in Powerpuff Girls. Okay, Dexter's Laboratory. De it is confirmed he, that uh, that Dexter's Laboratory is a Tartofsky joint. Uh, direct created by that. Um, he's not even... He's not even listed as a director in Powerpuff Girls. Get your shit together. <laughs> Any mention of Symbionic Titan? Uh, Symbionic Titan. Co-creator. Okay. Uh, created it with uh, Brian Andrews and Paul Ruddish. Right. Uh, so then, uh, we Samurai Jack, yep, creator. Wasn't Symbionic Titan about, Wait. like, a kid who could become a giant robot? Uh... An exciting hybrid of high school drama and giant robot battle, symbiotic titan features. Features of three beings from the planet Gala Luna who crash land on Earth while attempting to escape their war torn world. Follows the lives of Lance, Liana, and Octus, two alien teenagers and a robot in, in the form of humanoids living on Earth. An identical planet, while fleeing an evil general who has taken over their home planet with the help of monstrous creatures called Mudratadi. Liana is the kind princess of the royal family. Lance is a dark hearted. But capable soldier and Octus is a bio cybernetic robot created by the Yana's father to protect her. All three having now poses normal high school students to blend into everyday life in Sherman, Illinois, so Lance and Octus can conceal her from the General Monda and his hideous space mutants that to kill their sole heir of Galaluna and complete his conquest. When called into battle, the Galalunans are outfitted with individual armor that provides more than ample protection. It is when the gravest of danger appears that Octus activates the same biotic defense program and he. Uh, Jack, like Yana three sentences Lula. would have been plenty. <laughs> Abridged, please. <laughs> it's almost done. So they, they come together to form a giant robot. <laughs> so they transform oh, yeah. into Voltron. Also, uh, the develop uh, the the person who developed uh, he was uh, the developer behind Star Wars Clone Wars. 
That uh, limited series. Oh yeah, Tartakovsky did the uh, 2D Clone Wars. Did he do I the 3D a... one too? I don't think he did. It wasn't listed in his uh, film, television filmography. Uh, and then he took a big break from TV. He did uh, the Hotel Transylvania series. Still doing that. Fixed. The fuck is Fixed? Fixed is an upcoming American adult animated black comedy film direct produced by Columbia, Sony, and New Line. Distributed by Sony Pictures releasing Warner Brothers. Okay. Is it about like a dog that's been neutered? <laughs> I don't... Okay, this is this is uh this is, okay. This is like a few sentences. Are you ready? This okay. is Tarkovsky, by the way. The story of an average, all-around good dog who is in love with the show dog next door. What happens when he learns that he's going to get neutered in the morning? Yep. <laughs> well, the title kind of gave it away. That's the, that's the, that was an episode of Family Guy. Was he really? Was he that inspired? That was also an episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> Look, maybe Did she Kramer won't notice. Get <laughs> no, that's that's Seinfeld. Oh, right. Well, sorry. Oh, are are we doing serious shit now? I guess is that is that him? Is that Ganon? I sheep I... am here to take you down. I shouldn't be here. Now, maybe I'm misremembering this. I have heard that the devs of the game wanted to do something like you were actually running around on Ganon's body, but I don't think that is the final version of this fight. I don't think they Shadow of the Colossus did. What would be cool if they did. But, like, he's got a humanoid form? Okay. That's... I thought I thought it would be like a giant blobular shadow beast. He's a fucking spider. That's not Ganon, that's Naraku. <laughs> Naraku. Gee, Ganondorf, you look different. You. Ah, I'm okay. so angry. Yeah, somehow I was not spoiled to this. I have never seen this form of him. Nah, neither have I. Okay. You're up and running. Now my moment Wait. Has finally come. Brace yourself, Ganon, for the All sting right. of my revenge. Fire the weapons! But we're in like a closed room. What are these going to do? I think the wave motion cannons give a shit. <laughs> Our laser's they... just gonna bust through the walls. Are we firing them in the order that we re no we we aren't. A hundred years in the making. Hold on, princess. Our moment has arrived. <laughs> what if they missed? Oh, they would not open a portal to hell. Uh. Oh, good. The energy travels down. It goes down. It doesn't go down. It do go down. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. Energy guillotine. Yo! Yeah! <laughs> Bow your head in penitence. Wabiske. <laughs> what were you gonna say? He survives this. I was gonna say uh, Link that is that Lincoln that talks normally, like CD like CDI Link, or Link that babbles like MC Ride. Yeah, you know, I came to a realization. Technically, there is like okay, so there's types of Zelda games, right? There's the mm -hmm. top-down Zelda games. There's yep. the three the traditional 3D Zelda games. Yep. There's Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, which are kind of their own thing. Mm -hmm. And there is uh, the 2D platforming Zelda games, which is not just Zelda 2, because there's also the two CDI games. And also segments of uh, of uh, Link's Awakening. 
Oh, is that? Yeah, I guess that. Well, yeah. Did Zelda Zelda One kind of had those rooms, even if you didn't like platform in them? You should heal. Oh yeah, I guess I should. Excuse time out. I gotta eat. Oh, okay. But so, how does the parry work again? I just like jump out of the way of attack, and then I get to mash Y. I think. Yes, that's dodge. That's like a Ow. dodge. You. Yeah, that, he had an auto parry. That wasn't a parry, but I did get Daruk's protection. Just failing these dodges. Get good. What? I can't believe they made Goma the final boss. <laughs> I'm back! Oh, you should probably hit, uh, hit him in the glowing point. Nope. Okay. Maybe. Maybe it's like, uh, maybe it's like Engine. I can take out his body parts one by one. Imagine having to do this without the, the assistance of, um... Wasn't there something the I could, I guess I could, like, hit those. Stay still! God damn it! Is this how Kagome felt? I should use better arrows. Like, what else am uh, I going to use them for? Do you have a? Uh, do you have the the the? You I do have, have no some... ancient arrows. I have a few bone oh. arrows. Then then you're then you're just going to have to make do with what you got. I don't think ice would work against the demon of raging hell. I don't know. It might do a little extra damage. Okay, go for it then. And aim for the glowing point that's aiming at you. Not quick enough! Not quick enough. Pay attention. Ice to meet you! Cool off! That didn't work. Did he, did he fucking dot, like, move it out of the way of your shot? So technically you can come here at any time, but he won't have his health halved like that. Yeah. Dodge! I'm sorry, I'm being greedy. I want to get my hits in. How avoid tornado? Now, can I, like, dodge this to the side and then parry, maybe? Well, your guardian shield broke. I got more. I got a, a better shield. I got a Lionel shield. A Daybreaker. But this one works against the, the beams. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't that didn't count as a parry. Let's go up to his face and slash it like he's a hollow. Did we save before this? You auto save, so I don't think it matters. <laughs> what armor can I equip? I have better armor than this. I have my earrings. I can up my damage. Where's my damage? Yeah, There's the warrior stuff. Yeah, there, there it is. Your warrior gear. Your war gear, as it were. Do I have anything, anything good for a torso that I want? Uh, I think that's your best. Oh, no, it's, you got the... Uh, up one. That's better defense. Yeah. <laughs> you look Scottish as fuck in, in that outfit. Yeah. Do <laughs> I want start... to trade def any defense for attack is, is what I'm wondering. Um. That's the only thing you really have. I'd say, I'd say just to just put on the pants. The, the barbarian leg wraps and then just... Okay. Oh, you think I should have the one, like, trading off for attack? I, I suppose. These ones are 12. I can manage with those. I'm not going to trade off for 5, though. Yeah. I was picturing, like, he gets out of the ninja garb and then suddenly bagpipes start playing. It's the theme song from the, the, the Scotsman from Samurai Jack. <laughs> Dude, I'm not Samurai Jack. You're Samurai Jack, you- 
Shoutouts to, uh, John DiMaggio. It's a John or Joe DiMaggio, and I can never remember which. I'm sorry, Mr. DiMaggio. Mr. DiMaggio. Aim for that thing! I aimed for it! It didn't matter! God! The ice isn't helping at all! Just jump, just jump in the air, just like... I, I swear I'm trying to dodge. It's just none of them are if working. If it's not working, use another strategy! This is, this is like some Dark Souls shit. Like, like just... I guess I could use my few, like, bomb arrows. What if I throw my fucking boomerang at him? I don't think that would work. You don't think I can boomerang him to death? Uh... No? I'll just walk this way. Talk this way. Fucking spider dwarf. There's gotta be a way to like hit him off the wall, but it's just it just sucks that like. Well, it's a barrage of attacks, and I'm wary to do so because I keep trying and I keep getting hit for it. Can you like jump on his back, maybe? Like from the air, from the fire sword? Because it, it is like it. Yeah, and then just go the other way. Yeah, now, now, now wail on him! Oh my god. I'm try- I was! I was wailing! Okay, new phase. Oh no, now he's got the fi- the fireball is dangerous. Ice arrows! That didn't work. Need some snacks. Is he just invincible right now? I don't know. We'll fire at him and see what happens. Or, oh, they're shooting at you. I did fire earlier. Didn't seem to do anything. If you didn't fire then, you just, you just broke off. This ultra defense gear. You ever feel like you're missing something? Oh, all the time. Uh, maybe you're, maybe now you hit the, the guy oh, no, in the gun. Oh, he's coming down. Now you hit the what? I, I, I was saying maybe you hit the gun now, or... Okay. I don't know. Do, do the glider, Link! He didn't want to do it. You're just... God! Nope, sword is not working. That is not the... No, that is not the strategy. Okay, then. So, and ice arrows are probably not gonna work, then. That is not... also not the strategy, so... So you're gonna have to hit the gun, then! I'm hitting, I'm aiming for You're it. You're missing it! You you went above it! You're aiming for it, but you fucking keep missing it. I'm gonna look it up. This is this is this is legit like like giving me an aneurysm. Like I have the Oh he's is he doing the tennis? Come on! I missed. Ah! You're just. Why do you suck so hard? You know, Jack, you could boot up right now, and you could go to this fight. You could do I'm it any time. I'm nowhere near the position you are. Okay.
Well, I don't want to... My best, like, guess is the tennis thing. I don't want to, like, approach him until he does that again, I guess. Flurry rush. Yeah, flurry. Oh, that works. Okay, it's just a force parry thing. Oh, you, you got the timing down, finally? I can't parry the laser. I can't seem to. This impervious armor blocks all attacks, and only a very strong blow will power it down. Like using Urbosa's Fury to summon a lightning strike. Okay, I, I can, can do that. Also, stun him briefly with a perfect parry or having Daruk's protection trigger. Otherwise, you'll have a very small window when he attacks to hit him back, which can be extremely hard to pull off. I'll do the Urbosa thing. I, I forgot I could do that. Oh no. He predicted where I was going to be. Fucking Just laser. Fight, keep biding your time and dealing damage where you can without getting too <laughs> greedy. Yeah. There we go. Get up, Link! Got one more left. We're doing it. You were worried. Look, he's basically beaten. <laughs> and all it took was it all took was four powerful super weapons and <laughs> and a magic sword. Wait, if he's on the wall, you think you can reverse his fury him off the wall? I don't want to waste an attempt on trying that. Yeah, that's greedy behavior. You're right. Theoretically, though, it's making it impossible. That is, I see, like, the small window where he stops glowing. Yeah. Yeah, throw your stupid spear. Have a have an alt in Smash Brothers where it's just Ganondorf, but he's glowing red like this. <laughs> Good work. That's just yeah, that's just him though. It's like something doing something else. <sighs> Finish it. Spider door. Hello, gamer man. Hello. I'm sorry. I was I was intensely focused. I didn't see you in chat there. Yeah, he was he was busy just like fighting that thing, and it was it was rough and difficult. And, and I was I was being a supportive person, not this, angry at all. <laughs> this is the part where we like dehydrate him for the next game. Is that it? Is, the game's over, right? We beat him. Oh, my goo! My precious goo! Why, why did he explode? A mystery for the ages. Yeah, if we do end up streaming Tears of the Kingdom, I feel like we need a break after this. Yeah. Hey, we did it. It's all over. Now this is, the, like, the fake-out, where, like, the world falls, and we enter the second half of the game, right? Ganon. Ganon was they do that in, the in, in like, some past. JRPGs. He is a pure embodiment of the ancient evil that is reborn time and time again. I know, I, I fought that evil in, in the last game. He has given up on Oh. Oh, there is another phase. Yes. Yeah. 
Are oh, you there, ready? there's the horse. Oh, you're gonna ride your horse? Do I have to? I you. You don't. This horse is untrained as fuck. Oh, bow of light! Oh, okay. Link, you may not yet be at a point where you have fully recovered your power. Or all of your memories. Ride the horse! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, you're gonna- you have to- we're doomed! Oh boy. You can't ride a horse. You I have ride not a ridden horse. a horse this entire fucking game. Princess Zelda gave you this bow and arrow for the battle with Dark Beast Ganon. When wielded by the hero, it fires arrows of pure light strong enough to oppose the calamity. I don't need it. I'll just equip my normal bow, thanks. Equip uh, the fucking bow and just end this fucking Oh, it's got like uh, infinite arrow. It doesn't take any arrows. Oh, cool. I wonder if Is he's that... technically beatable with the normal arrows. If, you, if you're like dumb and dedicated enough. I, I will have to see challenge runs. None of your attacks will get through how he is. Okay. Keep talking. So what are we doing? Attack of the glowing point. It's fucking. It's Sonic Adventure 2. Attack the cancers. Get up on the Hydra's back. That seems like a glowing point. Hit that. Like his glowing flaming armpit. That. Yeah. 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 Ah. Got oh, it. those ones. Those are, like, really obvious glowing points. Okay. So we Sonic now. Oh, come on! There we go. Aim better! It's Ganon's ass! Oh, it's the night's falling. It's uh, 6 p.m. We gotta go home and like, and, like go to bed. Oh, we'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> Can you just leave this? Can you just leave him to just be chilling here? <laughs> Link, what are you doing? You have to stop him. Nope. Now's your. I'm leaving. <laughs> what if we? What if? We, what if it's a game over and we have to start from the very beginning? Oh God, they wouldn't, would they? Turn around. We gotta- we gotta finish this. How far do these arrows go? Just shoot. See what happens. Pretty far. Oh, nice! He's ignoring me. Hurry, please! There's a tree in the way! Oh, you're too late. That's alright. Oops. We'll have more opportunities, right, Zelda? Zelda? Hey, big guy. You mad? You having a bad day? That is fine. It's technically a, ba a boss phase. It's very cutscene-y. It this isn't like the second phase of the Millennia Blade of Mikula fight. Uh, fight. You will know true horror. He's kind of docile. He's just kind of hanging so, out, building up his malice. He's hurt. He's struggling. Uh, Otacon got to do something in the very end. Yeah. Wow, this is piss easy. Oh, it's, uh, it's on the underside. Didn't even really need to do anything that time. Uh oh, sky's red, blood moon. He's gonna restore with full health. He does. Link, look up there. Wait, wait, you want me to shoot the moon? Look up here! Where? Oh. oh. I'm firing! Oh, the, it's like the, that? No. Uh. You gotta time it. You're stop spamming and just and, and time it.
Oh, the eye. I didn't realize it was an eye. I just saw, like, glowing yellow. Okay. I can, I'm impressed Is the music bugged? Uh... Ow. What well, are you doing? I don't need Otacon. Fuck that. What are you... Literally, what are you doing? <laughs> You're just... You're just staring at it as it opens and closes like a clueless child. There you go! What? Wait, is it? Stop spamming and wait for it to open! You're just resetting the fucking timer! It was open! I was- I shot it! Damn it! <laughs> I'm what are trying we missing? To, I'm trying to time it. Use the up. Okay. Oh, that, was that what I was that, supposed to do this whole time? Thank you for letting me know, Zelda. I think the music was bugged. You were just going da 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 over and over and over again. Uh, what a finale! Like, feel bad when I blame you for stuff the game doesn't tell you to do. We beat the bad piggy. Well, until he comes back next time. Ah, Link, you seem to have got me bit suavemente. Third form. The, the giant black Voldemort cloud. Is there really a third fucking form? Link, fire at the... Is, it, is this where her new final smash comes from? Her holding up her hand and doing the Triforce thing? I, I guess that's it. So that's it? That's that's the end? That's victory? Well, he was sealed, but, like, he's also still a zombie in a cave somewhere? Yeah. Now what happens to all the moblins? Do they just go poof, disappear? I've been keeping watch over you all this time. That's nice. To return to us as well hey, I'm sorry about that fight you had with your dad. I met him, by the way. No, He's a cool ghost. I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Ganon. I never lost faith in you over these many years. Thank you, Link. The hero of Hyrule. May I ask? Do you really remember me? Nope. And then roll credits. God. That was kind of a lame ending. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, hey, you did it! You saved us! It probably became obvious over the course of the stream that we... Over the streams that... We, we kind of slowly got done with this game, I feel. Yeah. I just... This I was game overstayed because... its welcome a little bit. Yeah. I'm sure... I'm sure... Like, if people like it, I can see why they like it. I just... This isn't a good stream game for us. For us, a good stream game, I think, is just stuff with, like, a lot of, like, uh crazy bullshit or like uh, like 
character interaction. Stuff the problem is that heavy. the parts of the game that I enjoyed were not the parts that were suitable for streaming. Yeah. Like, the main thing I liked was, well, collecting towers. That that was about, that was the most enjoyment I got out of the game, was, like, filling out the map. Because I like collecting things and working yeah. towards a goal, but... Collect-a-thon. Not my favorite Zelda. No. I'm, I'm gonna... The spiciest opinion. I, I, I enjoyed Skyward Sword a little bit more. People aren't gonna be happy to hear that. Majora's Mask is still, is still the best, though. Oh, yeah. No no contest. Yeah. Because it was... Because it, it was a Zelda game, but with, like, a non-Zelda story. It was so... out there. There was a lot... There was a lot novel about it. And it's also a game with, like, so much packed into it that I'm still discovering, like, bits of dialogue and such, like, 20 years later. I think the vibe of Majora's Mask is just it being, like, this, like, creepy, like, aesthetic with, like, with, like, a consistent theme of, like, uh, like, throughout it gave it, like, it was very unique. It's macabre is the voice, is yeah. the word I'm going to use for Majora. Yeah, macabre. Like, Festival of Death. Like Mexican, like uh, like Festival of the Dead. Where's this game? Tries to be more along the line of Studio Ghibli, of uh, Miyazaki, I should say, which a lot yeah. of people have always kind of wanted Zelda to be more like. It's been a popular like fan crossover for a long time. But uh, it, it, like, well, I mean, it's popular. It's like one of the best selling Zelda games. I also don't so think, think like. I, I don't think this has quite the magic in world building of a Miyazaki movie, though. No. It's very peaceful to explore with, like, the piano and the nature and all. So that's nice. And then fucking the uh, the, the robots that come and they're like, oh, you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> it does have, does have the precursor technology. But that's been a thing in Zelda since... I guess twice... Well, kind of... I guess Wind Waker was kind of the first, but that was very like, plot-relevant, because, you know, Hyrule was flooded, but it kicked off really in Twilight Princess, and then it just be kind of... It became a, a, a key thing in the Zelda franchise since then. Yeah, just, uh, just like, a post-apocalyptic precursor shit. Usually the with the Sheikah. Where and that's, that's kind of why Majora's Mask worked, is because the thing was, it, it, the apocalypse didn't happen yet. Yeah. It was going to. Like... Like it, like the whole thing was like was like you're reliving the days the failing days of like a of like a civilization as like you're watching like the people playing the fiddle as Rome burned and it got like kind of like this weird disconnect. Was, there was a precursor element in Ocarina of Time with the Sheikah, but definitely not. Yeah, it wasn't as game centric as it is in later Zeldas. Yeah. Really, the only Miyazaki movie that really focused on that was Castle in the Sky. Which is very, very, very influential as a movie. Like, the, if there's anything that anything Ghibli that this is close to, it's Castle in the Sky. I get it. That makes sense. But, uh, now I'll, I'll repeat the opinion that I had probably in stream two of this. It's a fine game. There were things about it I enjoyed. It's not really a Zelda game. No, it's not. It's kind it's of a, a new thing, and I'm really curious. After Tears of the Kingdom, they've sa the they've said that they're not planning to do another game like Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom for whatever the next Zelda is. Probably for the best. So I'm curious how people are going to take that. If it's going to be a thing like you know the Sonic franchise, where now we have two audiences who want different things from Zelda. Oh. We already I mean, kind of had two with like the top-down games and the 3D games, but yeah, I haven't I haven't played a whole lot of the recent like ish. Well, I say recent; it's all relative. The recent top-down games because of lack of uh, access to equipment. But so I'm curious if they do another more traditional Zelda, if the people who came on board for Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, which there were a lot, if they'll stick around or if they'll say oh, this isn't my kind of game anymore. I guess we'll see. We'll see. This is extremely Miyazaki music. The credits theme. I'm... 
Yeah. By the way, gotta gotta get you to watch uh, the boy and the heron. Oh yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about Miyazaki. I've watched it. Quote unquote final movie. movie. Yeah, quote unquote. If it is his final movie, it's a great movie to like leave out on. Saw that with my ma. She enjoyed it. I specify Miyazaki because a lot of people tend to say Studio Ghibli when they actually just mean Miyazaki. Yeah, I've never seen any of the other Studio Ghibli movies. Yeah, they've got Tales like of five Earthsea. directors or something. Tales of yeah, Earthsea seen... was Miyazaki's son. Yeah, did that movie. Uh, yeah, that re- their second most famous director is probably oh, what was his name? Takahata. He did uh, Grave of the Fireflies with Studio Ghibli. Oh yeah, that's as well, well as the Tale everybody. of Princess Kaguya. That was good too. And then they've got some others that uh, I haven't seen. I, I don't remember if Whisper of the Heart was Miyazaki or if that was a different director. Arietti, I think Miyazaki only storyboarded. He didn't actually direct that one. I like that. It has one of my favorite like uh, like side characters. Me Spiller. Spiller is Spiller was great. Like just uh, just a tiny version of like like uh, fucking Yajirobe, but talks like a caveman. It, oh, we were talking about Primal. Oh yeah, that was it. He's like, yeah, Spiller's like a little John Primal. Yeah, John, Primal was Primal's great. Like what's the I, that, the caveman's name in the credits? It's like Spear. Spear. Yeah. No, his name's fucking John Primal. Uh, Fang could keep uh, her name though. Is that the, the dinosaur Fang? The dinosaur's name is Fang. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we watched two episodes. I like both of them. It, it's just, it's just like, it's like old school like speculative fiction you would read in like and like pulp works. It's just the rare really- show that manages to both be very artistic but also very entertaining, which was also yeah. true of Samurai Jack. Yeah, Samurai Jack was. Uh, yeah, Samurai Jack is, is legendary. I'm glad Tartakovsky has gotten more and more creative freedom over the course of his career. Yeah, he he's, he deserves it. Um, also, he, he him being responsible for Hotel Transylvania series, and those were popular movies. They were. He, I he actually wrote... I watched the first one in theaters. It was a kids movie. It was okay. It wasn't offensively yeah. bad or anything. Well, considering Adam Sandler's in there, it's good that it wasn't offensively bad. I didn't even oh. know it was Adam Sandler, because it's just him doing the Dracula voice that everyone can do. Put on pants. No. So am I king now? I guess that's not really explored. If it's assumed that Link is in a relationship with every Zelda, does he eventually become the king every time? Maybe, maybe he dies young, and so I I don't know. It's this whole this whole dynamic of the reincarnation of them just doesn't really work if you think about it for too hard. I I always felt like there's there's potential. Like fans always flesh out the whole Zelda timeline thing. It could work, and I wish Nintendo wanted it to, but they, they don't really care. They never have. No. They did once for Skyward Sword because it was, like, the selling point of that game was the timeline. But uh, Yeah. Then that didn't do so great, so they stopped caring again. It's fu- it's kind of funny. Uh, Wicker is playing the Mega Man Battle Network series. The Mega Man series has, like, a more consistent timeline than the Zelda series has. Why? Divine Beast Varuta. Looks like it stopped working. Okay. Well, who cares? It's a cool statue. Oh, she just wants to go exploring. All right. Mifa's father. I believe he would like to hear more about her. The least we can do is visit him and offer him. You know, control. it just it may just like this whole fucking. Although Ganon is gone for now. They're, they're gonna rebuild. It's just so much more there's no kingdom. It's all just like so villages. Now, you know what would be great? If we actually got to, like, run around and quest with Zelda there, like, talking? You know what would be great? You do an after series of uh, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, yeah. and it's just it's just a city builder. Like, you play as Link, and then you end Zelda. Zelda is the part of the city builder, and you play as Link, and Link goes around, like, stopping 
like Link City Planner stuff. training. Yeah. Just like it's like Zelda Hy uh, Hyrule Reborn. I can no longer hear the There was the Hyrule Warriors sequel that takes place in like the Calamity era before this. I'm wondering yeah. how that works because like we know how it ends. Yeah. It it ends poorly for everyone. I don't think I'll play it because, like, the whole appeal of Hyrule Warriors was it was a big Zelda crossover, and that's kind of lost on the on the Calamity one. Yeah. Did we get a new horse? That's not Otacon. Otacon died on his way back to his home planet. That was more closure than than that than that uh, offered. Where it's like, "Hey, you beat him. Do you remember who I am?" End. You know, it's a game where I feel like we would get to like run around a big natural environment like this, and also have people to like talk to and provide flavor. Is like uh, Xenoblade. They probably do that. Oh, they probably do. And you know what? It's probably got like a deep story because it's a JRPG. <laughs> Dra Dragon Quest games are great. Dragon Quest uh, Eleven was, like, very impressive. I've seen bits of it. I'm looking forward you, to 12. You've been playing Dragon Quest. Like, I kind of got stuck on two. You? Two kind of sucks a little bit, but I'll get through it. But you played one. You beat one? I did beat one. Ah, cool. Anyway, that the, was the, our... The, uh, Go on. The Zelrog JRPG arc begins. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get through them slowly. Uh, you'll play Earthbound eventually at this rate. Eh, I've, I've seen... I've, Earthbound is a game that I enjoy the story of somewhat. I don't think I'll ever play it. All right. Fair enough. Anyway, right. that was our Breath of the Wild stream. We finished it. I thought we yes. had two streams left, but no, we just no. we went right to Ganon and, and we took him just down. One. Yep. And we, we won. All right. One, one day we'll us. get that nasty Ganon. Uh, I get, we're also in the middle of a difficult game about climbing. We got one more. Yeah. Bit of that left. One more, however long that takes. We're in the middle of Sly 3. Yep. We talked about that Pokemon uh, roguelike. Just giving that a one shot. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys Thank you. for watching. See Putting you next up with time. our anime talk. We'll yeah. <laughs> See you next stream. See you next stream.